This video is going to demonstrate some issues with integers and floating points. Within the video we're going to write a program that converts a Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. So we'll get the, um, the Celsius from the user. And then we'll output the Celsius value just to make sure we've got the Celsius value. Okay, we'll start by compiling program and running the program. So we get a Celsius to say of 100. Celsius of 100. Okay, great. That's a good start. Now what we want to do is output that Celsius as Fahrenheit. So let's make um, a Fahrenheit variable and we'll make that variable uh, equal to 9 divided by 5 times Celsius plus 32. That is the equation to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then we can output Fahrenheit Let's compile run that program 100. So what we'd expect to get as a result if we have 100 degree, um, degrees Celsius which is the boiling point for water Fahrenheit we expect to get about 212. We get 132. So what happened here? What happened is that 9 divided by 5, since these are, are both the 9 and the 5 they're both integer literals, the 9 divided by 5 evaluates to only 1. We can demonstrate that by adding in just a simple output Compile and execute at 100 degrees Celsius. So this is 9 divided by 5. It's actually 1, but not 1.8, which is the actual value. Again, that's because we're using integer literals. Now, if we convert these into decimals, making them, I'm sorry, into floating point numbers, these are now floating point literals by adding a decimal point to the end. Now let's take a look at the result we get. We get a warning. Converting int from double on line 13. Mm, okay, so what's happening is we've created these floating point literals, which are becoming the data type of double, and then is multiplying with an integer, and then adding with an integer literal, both resulting in a floating point number. And once that's complete, we're saying you must become an int again. And so we have different types moving around here. So let's make all the variables a double. And we'll make all of the literals into doubles as well by adding point 0. OK. Let's compile. No errors. Run this. Let's say 100 Celsius. And we get 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Excellent. 